everyone today is Tuesday and I have appointments in Auckland to go and try on wedding dresses and design my own wedding dress so I'm very excited I'm heading over to Trish Peng and we are going to basically just create my dream wedding dress and this was supposed to be done a couple of months ago but obviously COVID happened and isolation happened we couldn't travel so yeah Finally, it's able to happen. My friend Michaela is flying up from Wellington and uh, meeting Sally up there too. So two of my bridesmaids will be with me. We're gonna hang and do this and I'm really excited, but also so freaking anxious. It's not even funny. Like I'm a little bit in a rush too. I've got like an hour and a bit. So I need to get started. I need to do my hair. I need to get dressed. I need to find some nude underwear and I need to do my makeup. And I also need coffee. So Hamish is gonna make me some. This one's on Zen Food Fit. It is the best coffee in the world. Like this brand so check it out if you're a coffee fan it's so delicious i'm gonna go do my makeup i need to go start getting ready i'm panicking a little bit Woo! so funny story i went to edit this footage of me doing my makeup and it corrupted so currently I'm filming this a couple of weeks later that's why the video wasn't up straight away pretty much because I was just so upset <laughs> but don't worry at the end of the video we do still have the footage from my other camera my vlog camera of me trying on the dresses but all of this footage of me doing my makeup was corrupted so I'm gonna recreate the look today with something similar I just feel like doing you know something like golden and smoky-ish I feel like on my actual wedding day I might do like a winged liner smoky look like very neutral and just like soft looking so this might be a little bit more dramatic than what I'll actually end up doing on the day but let's just have some fun with it I'm going to do a really romantic beautiful look that you could wear on your wedding day or just any day where you want to feel special so first I'm just going to clip back my hair I think it might be time to start looking at getting a new camera because I feel like this has happened a couple of times in the last month well it has happened a couple of times and I've been using different memory cards so I feel like my camera might be starting to carpet. By the way my top and my earrings are from Miss Lola. I love 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 these earrings and do yourself a favor get one of these tops they come in different colors it is the softest fabric you'll feel in your entire life. All right so I'm going to start with my eye makeup. I actually just got my eyebrows laminated. I do have a video on how we do this so if you want to see it I'll link it down below. I go get them done professionally. You can also buy kits to do it at home but I just love the results when I like you know do it professionally. So I'm gonna go around my eyebrows with some shape tape. Now when you get to the end of the video, make sure you guys let me know which dresses you like the looks of because I know what I'm going to choose, but I'm interested to see if you guys can guess what kind of vibe I'm going to go for because you'll see at the end of this video, like I kind of tried on some polar opposites. So it'll be interesting to see if any of you guys can guess correctly. This is a concealer brush back to beauty. Is there anything better than freshly waxed eyebrows? Now I have some tinted, um primer by Benefit on my eyelashes. It's one of my holy grail products. They're real tinted primer. So I can actually just leave that on and put mascara straight on top of it. I love to wear it alone as well as you can clearly see. On my wedding day I want to feel quite fuss free so I'm going to make sure I've got freshly done eyebrows so that I don't like even have to do anything to them. They won't look this dramatic because I will get them done like a week or so before my wedding day. They'll still be like perfectly groomed and everything so I can just like chuck on some brow gel and call it a day. I just love like that kind of natural look. It's just so pretty. I'm going to take my clean sponge and just go like this because sometimes the shape tape can kind of like bleed a little bit. So it's just like making sure that I'm removing some of that excess product. So I'm using my P. Louise eyebrow, bl 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 eye primer. I was going to say eye primer. I don't know why. I'm so annoyed that this footage corrupted. But I didn't want it to go to waste, of course. So, you know, here's another little bridal look, like bridal inspired look. I'm going to be testing some eyeshadows today. So I'm working on something really exciting. That's not the palette that's coming out soon. It's something for later. And some of you guys have already guessed what it is. So you guys are like hilarious. <laughs> this is going to be like a soft golden eye like I mentioned. I think I mentioned. I don't know. So I'm just taking a kind of warm, musty, goldeny kind of neutral colour. This is a matte. I'm going to pop that on that first kind of half of my lid and especially in the crease. What look did you guys do for your wedding? If you guys are married or like... Even if you're not married, what do you think you would do? What kind of look? I'm so torn. Like, do I do my classic, like, eyeliner? Do I do no eyeliner? Do I do smoky liner? Because I'm loving smoky liner at the moment. I feel like it's the best of both worlds because it's, like, 
liner but it's still real soft and not too like you know full on to look at i feel like it's a bit timeless and i just love winged liner too i'm just intensifying this color a little bit because i'm not really going to use too many dark dark colors so just layering up this paler color do you feel like this is too bright though it's definitely darker than what you guys are like looking at that's probably a bit more realistic i'm gonna go like one shade darker and then just like intensify that deep crease actually i'm gonna put this like up here too to make my eyes look nice and like deep set. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to do a blend on the brow bone when you don't have all those little funny hairs. I always have so many little hairs on my brow bone and it makes my blending look like trash. But a fresh wax, it's so easy. Usually I wouldn't wear like makeup on the same day I get my brows waxed. I just feel like sometimes it can cause you to break out and stuff, but just don't even at me right now. I just really want to do makeup. <laughs> okay, next up, let's do a soft gold kind of tone. Oh, that's the stuff. And I'm not doing like a cut crease, but I'm just taking it like up to that crease and just leaving it a little bit dramatic. I think I'm gonna come across most of the way. Smoothie break. And she made this for me for breakfast, but I've had such a busy morning editing that I did not have time to drink it. Which sounds like the worst excuse because it's literally just a smoothie, but hey. Going back into my blendy brush and just softening where the two colors meet. I used some of these like same colors for my makeup on the day, you know, of this video that you're watching. We're doing it slightly different, a little bit softer. Adding some of the darker color just on that outer corner. I might do a little soft winged liner. Just using another brown that's just like another shade darker. I'm just going to float this out. This is an eye definer brush. So it's just really nice and easy to wiggle in there and just get that straight line. It's looking really pretty. Now I'm going to do my base just so that I can intensify the look once the base is on because I might add some stuff underneath my eyes and everything. For foundation, I'm pretty sure this is the foundation I used on the day. I could be wrong, but I feel like this was it. Um, the Nabla Close Up Futuristic Foundation and this is in the shade M20. I'm so scared that this footage is going to corrupt as well. Like I've got trust issues now. I'd be devastated, honestly. Especially when you're having like such a nice makeup day, a good makeup day, and then the footage corrupts. It's similar to like, you know, when you're like trying to take a nice selfie, when you feel like you look really, really nice, and like you feel like your outfit looks good, your hair looks good, like whatever, and you just can't get a good photo. It's like the same feeling except even worse because it's just lost forever. And it's just like pointless. Because it's not like I even like, well, I mean that day I went and saw people, but usually, you know, I'm just sitting in my room like by myself you wash off the makeup and then you know it's all gone there's no evidence of what happened it's just sucky technology sucks sometimes my skin is looking pretty nice today so i don't think i need heaps and heaps of foundation and then concealer under the eyes i definitely need it I'm very tired right now my under eyes are like purple. I might have to experiment with some like color correctors for my wedding day in case this is like a thing still. <laughs> I do quite like the pixie one. So maybe I should like experiment with that some more. Hello sir. What are you doing in my room? Oh really? Oh. Cool story. Your yarns are about as good as mine. Why are you leaving now that I'm giving you attention? Why are you just running away? Oh, I see. You want to show everyone your new toy? Come here, babe. This is Louie's new toy. He wanted to show you. Show them your face. Show them your face. Yeah. Yeah. Easy, cool toy, isn't it? It's from Animates. <laughs> it's your straw. Okay, under my eyes to set, I am going to use one of my current favorites, which is the MAC Little Yellow Powder. This, like, kind of illuminates and, like, brightens under the eye and, like, sets everything. And then for powder on the rest of my face, like, I'll probably use, like, my MAC Studio Fix or something like that because it's just trusty, you know? I'm going to use a very light amount of C30, which is a little bit darker. Um, I do have a fresh fake tan on right now, but I still don't want to put on too much, you know? And then for bronzer and contour and everything, I'm going to go in with my little Nabla palette. So to contour, I'm using Gotham. I'm just going to go right against that cheekbone. And it's just a lovely color because it's not too dark so it's nice and easy to work with oh that's so dark good one good one 
I like to kind of blend it upwards just to lift my face. Do I need to put on my lights? Like, the weather's like turning to trash. What's new? 20 seasons in one day here in New Zealand. Where you live in the world, is it always gloomy? Is it always sunny? Or are you like where I live, where it literally is everything every single day? Like, a bit of sun, a bit of rain, a bit of wind. It's just like our city cannot make up its mind. Now I never use this color, Monoi, M-O-N-O-I. Is this a bronzer or a highlighter? I feel like that's a bronzer. Should we try it? Because usually I use Saint Tropez, which is this one right here. You can see I use it a lot more. Maybe I'll mix them together because this one does look quite pale. We'll start with the paler one. So Monoi, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. And I'm just gonna add that to my actual cheeks. Now this does have a bit of shimmer to it. That's so pretty. Actually, it almost gives me like a blush. Please excuse how like right against my eyebrows, it's kind of like super too pale. Oh well. I'm just adding some of, whoops, Saint Tropez. Just to really give myself that super bronzed effect. And a little bit on the nose. I'm loving how this looks. That's so pretty. And then let's just use a little bit of blush while we're here. Even though that um, Monoi or whatever, it kind of gave me a like blush. I just want a more pop of like this peachy colour. Just because it looks so pretty against the gold. So this is called Cor Corellia. I don't know if I pronounced that right either, but what if? Oh, let's just put that up the top like this. This is a secret highlighter. I'm just going to put that in the usual places. Because you know on my wedding day I'm going to be glowing to the gods. It would not be me if I was matte. <laughs> Under eyes is definitely a little bit too bright. I wouldn't have this much of a stark contrast on the day, I don't think. Like, it's very pale under there. I think just because I used quite a pale concealer, I used the shade Light Sand. And because I'm fake tanned, it's just a bit too pale. So definitely need to go a shade darker. All right, and then just to finish off some of that eye makeup, I'm going to go back in with my secret stuff. Where's my eye definer brush gone? There it is. Taking like a black kind of color and just tapping that right on the lash line. I'm gonna use falsies on my wedding day, there's no doubt about it in my mind. So this is just gonna help hide the lash band. Today I'm just gonna reuse some lashes that I wore yesterday. Um, so I don't know which lashes I'm actually gonna wear on my wedding day. I feel like I can't go wrong because I know exactly what kind of styles I love. Like I've got my own lash brand so it'll be something exo beauty and I guess it'll just depend what I feel like doing on the day. So yeah, just tap, tap, tap all the way across like pushing it into like my lash line. Do you see how that just kind of smoked up the look? It made my lashes look nice and thick. Oh that's so pretty. I'm just gonna take whatever's left on my brush from before and rub that just on the very outer edge of underneath just to like sh give like a little bit of a shadow to like go out with that winged liner but I'm not adding like a lot. And then I'm going to take a teeny tiny little like detail brush Where's one? Did we use a little pencil brush, Bake So Beauty? Into like a really light highlighting shade. For that inner corner, of course. Hamish loves a bright inner corner on me, so we're gonna have to do that. I mean, I love it on me too, but it's just something that Hamish always comments on with my makeup looks, so it's cute. Love me a man that actually like notices my makeup, you know? And also just like hitting those real high points of the arch. Oh my god, what a stunning color. I love this eye makeup. I feel so pretty. It's so soft. It's still there. It's just not too much. It's not overdone. It's just so pretty and so quick and easy as well. I don't want to be spending hours doing my makeup. Like, I'm going to be too nervous to sit there fiddling around for too long. This is just, like, the perfect amount where, like, you know, I can enjoy the process, but I'm not going to be, like, <sighs> like, trying to do something super intricate and, like you know, freak myself out. I'm just gonna use any mascara for now. This is the Blowout by Revolution. I used in my full face a Revolution makeup video. I'll link it below. And it's gonna look good no matter what because I'm putting it on top of that um, tinted Bare Real Primer, which is like literally life-changing. It's my favorite product by Benefit, I think. And that's saying a lot because I love a lot of Benefit stuff. We're gonna be using falsies, so it doesn't really matter regardless, but look how pretty that looks even just like you know, with no falsies too. But it's me. Like, of course I'm gonna wear falsies. I just got it everywhere. Okay, whatever. Anyways, here's before falsies and after, but the glow is still drying. But oh, these are so pretty. So these ones are called the Boss. The Boss Stacked Lashes. <sighs> Coming soon. Now for the lips. I'm using Mari Lip Pencil. I'm 99% sure I'm gonna be wearing this on my wedding day. I'll just show you how I'm thinking of doing my lips. Friggin' lash glue on my eyelash. Damn 
All right, so lip liner and then secret gloss. Just a little touch of it. So my lips look really soft. My lips but better kind of nude. And nice and comfortable, hydrated. That's the stuff. So yeah, that is my makeup. Oh, I'd be happy to look like this on my wedding day, I'm not gonna lie. What do you guys think? Do you like this look? Or what do you think I could switch up? I'm getting married in the friggin' hottest time of the year pretty much as well. So I'll definitely be fake tanned and yeah, I like the golden and kind of tan, you know, bronzed vibes. Let me move this on my background. My favorite. Oh, I love it. I love everything about it and I love it with the earrings. So pretty. So yeah, that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this makeup section and I'm so sorry about the original footage being corrupted as well. Like, honestly, I have the worst luck sometimes. But hopefully you enjoyed this little chatty chat instead. Moving right along. All right, so here's what I'm wearing up in the plane. These pants, I think these are old from Shopo. This top's from H&M. It's just got these cute little, like, tortoiseshell details. And then I've just got on these simple gold earrings because I think I'm going to check my hair up just in, like, a low bun or something off my face when I'm trying on some dresses. But I think I might wave my hair or curl my hair just to give it some texture and make it look a little bit more dressy and then i think i'm gonna wear some sandals that are about the height of my planned look at this lighting is so bad it's from this look like it but just some heels that i have that are like kind of my planned height for my wedding shoes because i want like short heels for my wedding i don't want like huge ones so <laughs> That's very soon. Oh, All right, we've arrived in Auckland. Look who I met up with at the airport. Hello, it's Michaela, and Abby's here too. Hi. And we're on our way to Trish Ping. Well, the weather's actually quite crap up here compared to Palmy. Yeah, Palmy's having a nice day. So yeah, I forgot to vlog when I was like rushing to the airport. Basically, I broke my pants. The zip just came apart from itself and like went into two separate pieces. So I had to get changed. Then I couldn't find my shoes, and I was having a meltdown. And then I sat in the car, and then I went to the airport, and then here I am. And it's okay because the flight ran early and I'm happy about that because I was really stressed out thinking that the flight would be delayed or something. So I'll see you there. We're going to design some wedding dresses, try on wedding dresses and it's going to be fun and it's going to be a positive day from now on. Just made it. Look at the store first of all. I come in and look straight ahead. Bubbies. Hey, Bubbies. Look how cute they are. You're so cute. We've got Sally here too. <laughs> so I'm doing like scenic shots. <laughs> This is so Look beautiful. how beautiful like it is here. Montage. You're I, gonna, know. Like, come out the I know. I <laughs> know. Look how stunning. We've got a beautiful high tea. So we got some tea. That's such a cute little tea cup. We're just pulling out a whole lot of dresses to try on. So I'll show you guys when I start putting them on. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my first wedding dress video, I'll link it down below. <laughs> Oh, Shannon's dress number one and it's got a major mess of train and like oh my gosh I like love it so nice yeah. I don't want to get like too much like I'll be like yeah it's so nice oh look the under is like oh so emotional <laughs> You want to wear a dress from some kind of works? Yeah, yeah. You can even add pockets for snacks. Yes. Dress number two. Yeah. I prefer the colour. Do you prefer this colour? Yeah, I think oh, I do. Yeah, in that mirror it looks warmer. Yeah, but out here, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, quite you different. can see the difference. I feel like your boobs look huge in this one. I really like how it's like kind of like structured. Yeah. 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 Ye
Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's like extra large right now. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Stunning. 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 I love it. You can't really see the detail. I'll go in. It's cool. It's got all little. Oh, it's so cool. really nice. It's a good picture. <laughs> Like yeah, no, the butt. <laughs> no, yeah. And with an extra large tray. Ooh. And then we have this overskirt, which is like a half year overskirt. If you, oh, if you kind of couldn't decide and you wanted to fit it. Yeah, romantic. What does something like this look like with plain, like without lace? It's really pretty. It is really nice. I like how it meets here and it's a little gap. Mm -hmm. The long gates are cool. So how do you feel in like this top compared to something with a strap? I love the detailing. Yeah, me too. I think I definitely need that kind of vibe. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Dress number five or six. I can't remember that. You can't really see in this light, but it's yeah, super glittering. I, I wish you could yeah. see. Well, like, oh, you can kind of see like back there. Yeah, these are glittering. Let me know if I'm in the photo again. No. Dress number <laughs> six. <laughs> I love it. But of course I would like it. Like Disney princess. Yeah. <laughs> Beaded on the little flowers. Very cool. Like, oh my gosh, it's so that's amazing. You are a Disney princess. That's me trying to do the Mexican way. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. It's like, it's like the way they beaded it. All like, yeah. Put the pearls on stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, cool. so nice. Wow. Like, oh that's my. amazing. I'm sorry, I'm getting like... <laughs> I really like it. How are you supposed to choose that? I don't know. Just wear 10 dresses. <laughs> Yellow. Yeah. <gasps> this wow. one. So it's in the snow. Like yes, it looks like snow. <laughs> it's like glitters like snow. It's so beautiful. It's so nice. Yeah, it's a like showstopper. So you guys like this? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And you got the pearl buttons or fabric buttons, whatever buttons you want. Yeah. And your nail. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that looks gorgeous. And the buttons. Oh, I love it. So nice. Yeah. 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 I love it. Along the way, right, you can change your mind. First fitting would be like a mock-up. Yeah. And that's where we like make it two measurements. Yep. You see it. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to visualize it better. All right, guys, that is my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very, very excited to share more about the process with you. I'll probably wait until, obviously, after my wedding to share some of the next steps with designing my dress and everything. But I'll make sure I vlog as much of it as I can. And I'll, like, make a little, like, post-wedding kind of vlog and, like, show you guys the process in case you're curious and want to see, like, how it kind of looked in each step as well along the way. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. I'm so excited. Um, so nervous, very overwhelmed with all the planning. I've still got so much to do, but um, a lot of it, I guess, is going to get real busy leading up to like Christmas because I'm getting married in Feb. And I feel like just before Christmas and then like January is just going to be so, so busy for me. So if I'm away with the fairies at that time, you probably know why I'm just going to be like swamped with like stress. <laughs> But hopefully it's all good. I'm trying to like stay on top of as much of it as I can. It's just that a lot of the vendors don't want to like organize too much this far ahead because obviously I guess brides change their mind a million times. So it's just easier to make those final decisions like, you know, right before the actual wedding. So there's not enough time to piss around. Oh, I'm so nervous. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. I'm very excited and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.